AFTV, uh, Julian, you know what, that was tough today. Um, last week, easy win against Bournemouth. Everybody coming to the stadium today thinking, yeah, man, going to be Fulham were a really good side and they really tested us. Yeah, I mean, Fulham for me are by far the best team we've played this season. When I look at the, the, the games we've played, Palace, I thought, wasn't easy. They came at us, but we definitely had the better of that that game. Mm. The Leicester game wasn't really an issue. Every time they got close to us, we went at, we went to the other end and, and scored. Mm. Brentford really was a walk in the park and a, a day at Bournemouth, the beach. Bournemouth. Bournemouth. What yeah. did I say? Yeah, Brentford. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking ahead. Future history. <laughs> You're right. The um, today. I mean, I hadn't done a lot of research on Fulham. Usually, I get the chance to research the teams and see what they're about. I spent most of yesterday researching how we're going to get to the Arctic Circle, so I didn't really have the chance to look into them. What I saw of Fulham today, very, very impressive, because we didn't play badly at all. Mm. We put the effort in. Nothing wrong with our effort today. The players we've got, I think, team, you know, player for player, were better than Fulham. The strategy we employed, a little bit questionable. I thought Fulham had the, the better of the strategy. They had the better of us. They didn't, we had a few chances. Leno made a, a great save. I think Saka was clean through. And it kind of made me think about the, the Leno sale. Why did we sell him at that point? We didn't get a lot of money in for him. If something goes wrong with, with Ramsdale, I'm not overly impressed of what I've seen of Turner. Yes, he had one. He only played one game. Yeah, but that wasn't a great game. But, but <laughs> the one game, a chance, bloody hell. But one thing we've seen of Leno, mm. and we saw it in reinforced it today, he might not be quite as good as, as Ramsdale, but if we're looking for competition in every position, for the money we got from him, I think we let him go too early. All right. You know he dropped the ball oh, for oh, the second goal, All right. right. Yeah, but he's better, he's better than, than what we've got. So in that particular area, I think we've kind of gone a little bit backwards from what I've seen. And again, it's early days. But if we were going to sell him, why didn't we just hold on for a couple of million pounds? Why didn't we just hold on for a few weeks? That would have weakened their team. The other player I didn't really want to see on the pitch is, is Mitrovic. Quality, absolute quality. You know, th th there's no coincidence. This guy, I think last season, scored 43 in 46 games. Yeah, no, he's a, he's, a, he's a very, very good player. Scored again today, um, and it was a bit self-inflicted, weren't it, by Gabriel? It wasn't just Gabriel. There was one thing, I mean, I, I looked at it back on the replay. Saka plays it across goal. Now, unless things have changed dramatically from when I played football, and it wasn't that long ago, the first thing you get taught is do not cross it across your own goal so he crossed it across your own goal yes Gabriel should have done better he controlled it all right there was a certain amount I don't know whether you call it arrogance or he was a little bit too relaxed but you've got a player of Mitrovic's quality bearing down you you don't you, you you've had enough warnings the guy hasn't come out of nowhere he's been in the Premier League before he's played brilliantly today I actually thought and it's I wouldn't say controversial but for me when you look at unbiased who was the man of the match it was probably Mitrovic which comes on to why I didn't want to see him on the pitch for Fulham I think he's the kind of player we need to buy you know he gives you something different a few times the ball went into the box and um, yeah we we looked right we were a good team today if we had Mitrovic on the end of that you know last 20 minutes when we're struggling because today again you said it it was the first real challenge we had we I wouldn't say we got away with it today. We came out very positively. We dug in, we scored. But if we had a player like that... We had a lot of chances. Eddie and Ketty had two. Jesus said, I think on another day, we could have scored quite a lot of goals today. Martinelli, Saka. We were, Saka. Yeah, apart, apart from the Saka one-on-one, -on -one, I thought the rest of them were... Jesus had a chance we should have buried. Um, Eddie had a one-on-one. -on -one. I, I mean, we, we had enough chances okay. to win the game easily. Apart from the Saka one-on-one, -on -one, I thought the rest of the saves were relatively comfortable. Yes, we had some chances. Yes, we hit them straight up. Yeah, well, yeah, we did. Mm. So we weren't as ruthless as we normally are. That's not to say we played badly. We played really well against a very, very good Fulham team. And they'll do well. We talk about that the fixtures have been kind to us. I think playing a team like Fulham at the beginning of the season isn't a kind thing for us. You know, they are not going to get better. They are going to get worse. One thing they proved against Crawley, they might have a good first 11, but come sort of three, four months into the season, 
um, when they start to get injuries, they don't have the players coming in. So I thought the fact we played them, they're not getting better than that. They played brilliantly today. We played better. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.